Thanks for that, Mary. Another Hoops Pack program on this Monday edition. Alongside Rachel Bedell, I'm Melissa Bergamini. One of the Big Ten's newest coaches in a look at Iowa's recent inability to protect the home court all on schedule. Well, we begin in tonight with the news of a Twitter ban for Fran McCaffrey's squad. McCaffrey told media this morning that he had his players shut down their Twitter accounts for the remainder of the season. This news comes after a fiery tweet sent out by senior Zach McCabe after the Wisconsin loss. We'll have an extended look at the new team policy tomorrow evening right here and on the inside of the pages of the Daily Iowan. The team may not be taking to Twitter, but they will be taking the road to Minneapolis for tomorrow's rematch against the Gophers. The last time these two met up, I was able to battle back from a halftime deficit to down the Gophers 94-73. We caught up with junior forward Aaron White after that W. Can't overlook Minnesota. They're a great team. Um, obviously, that, that's, that's been proven. Um, they've won close games on the road. They took Michigan State to overtime. They beat Ohio State. Um, they came in here and they had our full attention as they should have. Following their loss to Iowa, Minnesota head coach Richard Pitino showing McCaffrey some love. A lot of respect for that basketball team. That's a really good team. Um, Fran is a great coach. Uh, they've got the ability to make a deep run at this. I was really, really impressed with them. Uh, you really got to give. We didn't play well, certainly, but you have to give Iowa credit. That is a very good team. Uh, very balanced, extremely well coached, uh, so they certainly deserve all the credit. We caught up with junior Andre Hollins in the Windy City back in October at Big Ten Media Day. We really have uh, improved defensively as a team uh, with the players coming back from last year. Uh, also, we've, we've just been uh, very energetic. Uh, we're excited. Uh, it's a new brand of basketball, and we're ready to, to see how it works in the Big Ten. And we end tonight back at home where Carver Hawkeye Arena was once the stage of an almost 20 game win streak. But now the Hawks have dropped three of their last four home games. I took a look at what has gone wrong on the Hawks home court with only two home games left of the season. Last year the Iowa men's basketball team stacked up their victories at Carver Hawkeye Arena in front of several sold out crowds and lost only two home games throughout their season. But this year, the trouble hits close to home, the trouble actually being home games. After Saturday's matchup against number 16th ranked Wisconsin, the black and gold lost for the third time in four tries at Carver. The other two defeats being Michigan and Ohio State. You know, we lost to three good teams. So the race to that title championship leaves the Hawkeyes falling behind, especially if they can't compete with other Big Ten teams' home records. Let's take a look. All of them out of seven home conference games, Nebraska with only one loss, Michigan also one loss, and Michigan State with two. The Iowa trio of seniors Devin Marble, Zach McCabe, and Nelson Abasabi must lead their team to more victories in order to stop the repetitive heartbreaks at home. Let's get away from us and uh, we let a few drop to get away and um, now we still got three games, you know, those next weeks we got three games, so um, we just got to keep, you know, fighting. Uh, just think about us, I think. Just take one game at a time. I want to be able to bounce back and get wins and not let it be in a current effect. With three experienced seniors on the team, it wasn't enough for the Hawkeyes to pull through against the Badgers. Even with 21 points from Devin Marble, Mel Sabasabi was out sick, and Zach McCabe earned zero points for the Hawkeyes and missed the last shot of the game. The Hawkeyes will take on Minnesota this Tuesday on the road, hoping to break their losing streak. Inside Carver Hawkeye Arena, Alyssa Bergamini, Daily Iowan TV Sports. That'll do it for our Monday edition of the program. Be sure to tune in tomorrow where we'll have more about McCaffrey's Twitter ban. Mary and Hannah, back to you at the desk.